everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the Malachor Galactic Qualifier. This is our second of five qualifiers in our Galactic Championship Series this season. Super excited to be here. Today, I'm joined by my good friends, William Hagwood. <laughs> He, he stepped out. He stepped out. <laughs> and James Ritter. Hey, guys. I am both Will and James today. Wow. Fight me. You just have a beard that you put on and off? Is that is that the plan? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, is there a problem? Nope. I, I see nothing <laughs> wrong with this. So uh, in our first round today, we have Travis Johnson versus Kevin Larson, a battle between the, the Empire and the Republic. Now, before we get too far into these matchups, I want to remind you that we are playing Chance Engagement. This is the dogfight uh, style of scenario. A reminder that players must be within range 2 of that center objective in order to gain one point a turn. And if only one player is within range of that center objective, then that player would end up getting two points. Half points are available in this scenario when fighting against a ship. Once you get half of its health, you get half of its points. Uh, that's it. I think we're ready to break this down. And for everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion as we get this party started. Take it away, James, first. And if Will's not here, then I'll just do the other one. Go. <laughs> he's back. But I will gladly take this Republic list. Um, I know he's going to want that one. So I'm going to steal it from him before he can, t he can take a look at it. Um, to start off in this Republic list for Kevin Larson, we have Hound in the Lat gunship, bringing a huge support piece, giving those uh, fire converters rerolls, being able to take a strain off of a friendly ship, or or a um, depletes. And how are those depletes getting thrown around, you might ask? Well, I would say the Satine Kree's crew here. Uh, new crew has uh, two charges recurring, and at the start of the engagement phase, you may spend two. If you do, each friendly ship may choose to gain one deplete and one focus, or gain one disarm and one evade. So you can gain those uh, deplete and focus token, and then have Hound pull off one of those depletes. And uh, that's just straight that's cheating. Not... That's like that's against everything Satine wanted. <laughs> yeah, Use, using true. pacifism to become a better shot. Crazy. All right, continue. Uh, and that's not the only crease we have on this ship. We have Corky Crease, another new addition to the game. Uh, being able to, um, after a friendly ship in your uh, front, uh, what is it? Front 180 arc. At range one or two becomes a defender. You may transfer one green token to it from yourself. So you can even transfer um, the focuses or even the reinforces. And additionally, all a friendly ship in your front half at range one or two defends. If you obstruct the attack, the defender rolls one additional die. So it has um, the uh, scramblers. I can't remember what they're called. Is that what they're called? The scramblers baked into the ship. Uh, and also has the seventh fleet gunner. Uh, just a great ability to be able to um, every round, if you take a deplete or if you take a disarm, to let one of your other ships throw an additional attack die. Um, and that hound is complemented by four Z95s. Uh, first off, we have a boost here with a proton rocket, being able to shoot an additional uh, big attack in the bullseye arc at range one to two. We have warthog with the um, being able to keep around um, himself or a friendly non-limited uh, ship. In this list, it's just going to be himself, but that's pretty helpful to be able to stay alive to say, I will shoot my proton rocket. You can't stop me. <laughs> if I line it up, you're going to take it. Mm. And uh, of course, he does have that proton rocket munitions fills they've been dedicated and dedicated. They're being able to have some friendly uh, help out to his friends. Uh, Stub is going to be another one of the Z95s in this list, being able to, uh, based on the speed of his maneuver, either get an additional defense die or an additional attack die. 
which is just a great ability. He has a shield upgrade to give him some more health. Uh, and to round out our Xenia Vive complement here, we have a slider, my favorite, way my favorite, uh, being able to do side slips um, when he does those two bank maneuvers every other turn, and he also has a proton rocket. And to round out the list here, we have Click uh, to provide a little bit extra support in the Nimbus class V-Wing with the Besh config dedicated R3 astromech and proton bombs. Very scary list with a lot of offensive and defensive mods. Beautiful. And before we move on to the other uh, other list, shout out to Kaliana dropping 25 subs to get us uh, get the get the train rolling here. Uh, we are at 29. Thank you so much, Kaliana. Will, what about our next list? All right. Ash Iris Johnson is flying Darth Vader Defender, the complement of TIE Fighters. Uh, and a time striker. Death Raider Defender uh, cannot spend his three force on defense. Has to rely on the full throttle free evade for being a defender. And then uh, has as well malice. So when you are spending your force to convert blank results to hits, you can also spend it to convert eyeballs to crits. You've got Juke. To take advantage of that free evade, modifying your uh, defender's dice and a heavy laser cannon, uh, which we see lined up here against Slider, uh, trying to make some use of that four dice, range two to three, bullseye weapon. Now, the striker out there is Countdown in this uh, Alpha Strike meta, uh, they've called it, uh, where people are throwing around a lot of heavily modified attacks. Countdown has the ability to neutralize all of the hits coming in and convert them into just a single damage and a stress. Uh, so really good to take a big attack early on and keep on trucking with that three attack dice. The rest of the squad then, two ISB Jinguist, uh, the notorious two-point ships right now uh, for their ability to hand out strain and get uh, this version's taking overtuned modulators for a bunch of free calculates in the system phase. Uh, they are led by Iden Versio, has the ability to negate damage coming in from an attack on her or other tile lens, and shoots an ion cannon, which of course can put out ion tokens, limiting the ability of the defender to maneuver. But damn. Yo. What happened here? Boost ended up on a rock, turning away from Vader, coming uh, into the fight with these Tie Fighters. Sometimes you're so scared, man. You don't you don't care if you run into a wall. I mean, I know I know uh, I've walked yeah. into a wall before. It, yeah, in my that, that Dark Lord of the Sith is a scary boy. Uh huh. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I do not want to face against that. Have you seen Rogue One? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, James, you said that Boost uh, has the ability to boost. Um, he just needs uh, what a uh, person at range one to do a blue maneuver. So I think uh, that should be able to. Reach yeah, let's let's take Hound. a look at Hound. Hound for sure is going to be able to boost. He should be able to boost, boost straight maybe. Um, at least boost left, which I think a boost left may be pretty good as well. And then you could even get, um, you could throw the focus um, Ooh, from Hound. Yeah, yeah, from Hound with Corky. And then shoot a procket at that poor Chinguist. All right, well, let's That's see what gonna happens. Be a surprise attack. Uh, Vader scootered up here. He's in a perfect 4K position against Slider. Took that evade, and I think we should be heading into. Ooh, we're going to see that Satine pop, though. All right, so who is going to end up getting that deplete and a token? And that's going to be going on to Hound. Ooh, right. so he's going to... Um, Hound's going to grab an evade and a disarm. I like I like the move there. I know a common strategy with these lats is just to burn them down. Uh, and they normally don't shoot anyway. They're more of a support platform. Like, they have the... They have the crew, and they have the um, 
uh, cover, not cover fire. What am I forgetting? Uh, fire fire conver convergence. convergence to help people out, and that uh, that disarm doesn't affect any of that. So, yeah, it combos really well with uh, the Seventh Fleet Gunner, so you can reload and take sixteen at the same time. Get two mm -hmm. weapons disabled. Yep. Surprised it didn't hand down on Vade out to a Slider there, uh, staring down Darth Vader. Um, he thought about it, but I think. Uh... I think he thought about it, but now boost I think he is said he just wants the extra damage. Boost is already at half points, and uh, it will be oh. be able to use his ability. I mean, that's of course due to the the asteroid, the roll, and the auto damage. So we'll see if he can uh, his, his extra maneuver there can end up helping. Well, here's Vader, range one. Expect full violence here. Four dice. Two hits and a crit, one focus, spend malice for hit, hit, crit, crit. Two evades on the other side, and that's going to be a total of three damage getting pushed through. Hit, crit, crit. There was a focus he's gonna, there. He's going to juke that down to a focus and hit, forcing him to spend it. That's right, because if you would not have spent it, that would have been a dead Z95. So you see the power of juke right there. And uh, let's see, what is a crit? What did we get? And it is a council fire, council so still fire. has a possibility to get taken off the table this round. Republic council fire. That is not working yet. All right. All right, we're moving down. We had initiative six. Yeah, good chance for the IOS to be Jinguist here uh, to mess with boost. It hand him another deplete or a strain uh, unless he removes that focus. Oh, token. no, don't do that. Are we okay? You got that Corky Crease out there able to uh, throw those focus tokens forward after a defender, after a friendly becomes a defender, you can transfer a green token to it. That might not uh, be so enough. See, the, see I the didn't... invade passed. I didn't throw in three hits and pop, pop, pop. All three of those going through. Empire starting strong here. I think it just cleared I, boost I think, out of the I way. I think I would have taken the strain on Hound. He didn't take the strain. He removed a green token. I know. I would have taken the strain on Hound instead oh. of losing my green token mm. and then passing the evade. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty because rolling <laughs> two, sure two, two saddies <laughs> means uh, nothing. D did you hear uh, Plumber use the term saddies on stream <laughs> this week? I, I was like, I was like, ah, ha, ha, we got him, we got him. All right. So I think I just saw a shot going into from the jingoist into Hound. And remember, boost has not been cleared off the table yet because of initiative rules. We've got to get to the end of the initiative four step before uh, clearing any ships off the board. Travis is the first Just, player. Oh. Okay, so here here's the, the Jingua shot now. And more hot fire. Two hits and a crit. Looking at Hound. That's two damage. Shields are down. All right, so I was looking for click locks uh, here. And on stub, uh, stub and Iden, I believe. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be useful just yet. It uh, looks like he's taking a range two shot mm -hmm. into stub. Yep. Only one hit on this one. And we'll be able to evade. And countdown. Coming in from the flank. Taking a range two shot onto Warthog. No, gonna go range three on click. Excuse me, on uh, on stub. 
money, three hits. All right, Stub rolling some big defense dice after his revealed uh, even maneuver. Um, and there's a token there. I, I think I think uh, you take one shield. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he does. If he does got decide the proton it. Rocket. He does not. Well, he doesn't have a proton rocket. Oh yeah, don't need it. Got that shield upgrade. <laughs> Betting has officially closed for the round. We'll go ahead and take a look at the people's results here in a second. But yeah, we we just ended. I don't know we actually should be getting click, I believe, next firing at initiative four. False slider says me first. All right. So we did see the console fire roll there for Slider, rolled an eyeball. No, that was not that. Where was it? Did we get the console fire roll? Three dice. All right, good, 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 good. And now we have click. <laughs> Looks like we're reading, reading through some text, the sacred text here on click. Single hit and a focus. Yeah, might be no, not on, not with click, not on this shot. This is on to Aiden. Yep, from downtown. Oh no, we just had a server timeout. That's fun. All right, switch over to this for a moment. Why did that happen? So be ready, friends. I'm not sure if it'll happen, but we might get a, a disconnect. We'll brace. Brace ourselves. Brace for impact. Uh, we can see... <laughs> Just to hit here from the Z, easily yeah. dodged. Yeah, not using any of those fire convergence rolls. Or Seventh Fleet Gunners. Maybe this is the time. He's saving him for a juicy shot here. He's got the <clears throat> jingoist. He's got, got to do some damage here. Just going uh, at Ida's. I didn't sell as a focus token as well, correct? Yeah, she does. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Here's seventh lead gunner. Two and hits. And we'll see. We'll see a fire convergence. Yeah, we haven't we haven't seen that yet, right? No. Oh, the other one's on a ship. Yeah. Okay. So, yep, of course, can reroll up to two dice uh, while attacking a ship in the last firing arc. Uh, gets the paint, spends the focus. And Aiden's going to take two yes. unless she flips her ability. Elusive? Elusive. Elusive. Ooh. Take the one and laugh as you walk oh, away. Oh, man. Clean. Aiden, wouldn't it be better if like she was just like even more defensible? <laughs> <laughs> what if instead of being able to cancel like an entire attack you also were able to cancel <laughs> another result when it's good it's good James when, when it's, it's good, good, it's good it's good 
Not denying that. All right, they're in the maneuver phase. I'm going to go ahead and try to fix what we got going here. Over right, 123. Dune, uh, do you have counters for these players? Of course. To counter course, points? Of course I don't have that set up. Why would I, why would I do well, that? What was that? That's, that's me. Okay. It's going to be fine, probably. I did a little, little mini autosave. Little blip, little blip. Nobody needs to know why that happened. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, Vader, Vader is... It feels like it's a 4K position, but you can you can just as easily end up doing a 3 hard and getting on the flank there. What do you guys think? Uh, one Z at a time. That would be my opinion. I would 4K and light that guy up. Make sure he is off the board. You already had your target lock on him. Okay. I can't get away from you. All right. It looks from like we need I to understand. do a little bit of... of uh, Overlay maintenance. So boost is the dead one. Slider has one hole left with council fire. And stub and stub is minus one shield. When you have a second James. Now as we are uh Waiting here in the planning phase. Uh, looking at the Choose Your Champion participants, we had 55% of our audience uh, wager that Travis Johnson would be the winner. 44% being Kevin Larson. So not uh, not too not too far apart, but uh, interesting interesting nonetheless. I know chance engagement. Uh, essentially, you're, just, you're. What are you looking for? The the more aggressive list. Uh, hard to say. Uh, one that can dogfight, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I would have uh, clearly. I I did put my money on the the jousting squad here with all the Z's. Mm -hmm. But without being able to line up those munitions. I, and uh, losing one before it could engage uh, really hurt the the red dice potential of the squad. Now, the so uh, remind me again. Which one? Which ones of these guys do you have those proton rockets? Because I think those are the shots that are gonna really change the game here. So I'll uh, be able to score half points or even eliminate a whole tie fighter. Boost. Well, he can try with Iden out there, but uh, the proton rockets we have left is gonna be Warthog and uh, Slider. And that's it. Yep. And Lost the one on boost. When you have a second, James, we got to do a little little overlay maintenance. We have uh, boost should be the one that's down on the overlay. Stub has minus one shield, and sliders living on one with council. And of course, both players did get plus one. Uh, plus one point because of the center objective this turn. It looks like Travis will end up being the first player one more time. All right, that's that seven fleet deplete or seven seven fleet disarm coming down. And we see ooh, a 
overtuned modulators. So triple calcs here going on to the, uh, what is that, green? The green So jingoist. most people take uh, cybernetics to get a focus after they K-turn, uh, but you can get three calculates with overtuned in the same situation. Yeah, it's, I guess it's similar effect. Well, it's what well, the way I look at it, it's uh, similar to the choice of people <sighs> taking. Um, if you remember, in days of old, Boba Fett, who could take multi get multiple calculates, and mm -hmm. people people liking that because you could use that instance, use those instances in both offense and defense. You get that kind of split. So, why not the best of both worlds? Well, now there is a penalty on overtuned for each of those calculates you don't spend. You do have to receive a strain. True. Yeah, and that's and that's going forward every turn. Yeah, I like it though. I think it's a an aggressive choice uh, when you're taking like multiple shots on your jinguist. Uh, you could roll up to a joust and take an evade action with all those calculates to ensure that you. Uh, make it through without having to waste items charge. Speaking of aggressive, you have the uh, TIE Fighters just smacking into Hound here. I mean, there wasn't many choices, but you know, obviously those TIE Fighters have to move forward. Uh, I'm not surprised to see that Hound hit the, uh, hit the handbrake there with the stop. It's getting in the way. Well, he, he didn't even stop. He got his focus from a bump. Mm -hmm. He just crashed into the one who K-turned. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, that's going to be those green tokens. So important uh, for this uh, Corky Krees. Uh, the, the way to support uh, your friendlies is um, always like Hera-esque, I would say. Uh, you don't get to see the dice pool, but you do get to wait until a ship gets shot at to pass it a defensive token. We had Vader boosting here into the Z95. Not surprised after the 4K. Had the reposition in order to get that range one. Remember, has three force available for this range one attack and set up a target lock the turn before. This is probably a dead Z95. Uh, Malice plus ability. I'm just going to go ahead, spend the tokens, make it a guarantee. And that is it for Slider. Initiative killed here at Initiative 6. We got some fun crits out there. Loose Stabilizer. Fuel Leak. And I believe that is the... Uh, the the malice trigger looking for pilot or crew crits yeah, in order did, to in order to be able did, to did uh, not regen. Trigger, though. Yeah, exactly. I think you take the strain here on Hound from this jingoist, these yellow jingoists. Does take the strain. One hit on the Hound. So Jingoist, one of the few uh, few ships out there that can do a, a pseudo modification to enemies' defense dice at or, during a range zero attack. Yep, they get around it by having their ability utilized uh, before the attack mm -hmm. instead of during. That's another hit oh. coming in on Hound. Down to six hole. Countdown, Luke and Hungry. Travis has Going taken an aggressive lead. Talk here. Hit, crit, Looks spend. Good. Ooh, big money. Three hits and a crit. And three of mm. those are going in. Are we going to see any dedicated triggers? Yep, he's dinging. Uh, that is click. Going to take a strain to give him a reroll for his blank result. Blank to blank. Doesn't help him. 
Uh, not sure why that the, we didn't see the focus pass with Corky here. Would have been a good proton rocket. We didn't mm. see from Warhog. Yeah, you are right. The Corky Cree is so important to uh, the support abilities of that hound. But do you really want to proc it countdown, though? Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, the focus still would have been nice. Just to have a better shot to actually oh, get looking, that stress out there. He's looking at Corky now. I think he's going to pass it with the second attack. Yep. He's like, okay, if we're going to shoot him at a second time, I definitely yep. got to pass the focus now. <laughs> All, right, All right. That's two, two focuses modified there. On the Jinguist. Still has one calculate left. And that focus comes into play. No damage if it's going to end up being spent. Roll two evades naturally. All good. I think you pile into countdown here. Yeah, I got multiple shots. Might be able to get him to stress himself for the first attack and follow up with that proton rocket. Ooh, single crit. Uh, no, yep, no fire convergence or anything that I can see. Yeah, you were hoping for a big hit there. To to four, because you know if it's like a single hit, right? Single hit, you might see countdown just take it without the ability and then have it mm -hmm. available for the proton. Yeah, I don't know if I'd even do it. He's just going to be sad. Well, well he I just mean, spent at, it. At this point, you might want to just make sure you hit. The stress prevents, uh, you know, prevents the turnaround next next maneuver. Yeah, so. he's just going to throw all that away. Yep. Take a hit. Take a shield. Take a shield. Oh, yeah, he brought that shield upgrade onto Countdown. A little bit of a boon there for his ability. <laughs> Take one damage and cancel all of the incoming dice results. Plus, take a little stress to uh, to make people's big dice attacks sad. But of course, you cannot use that ability if you're stressed. So, uh, countdown has its moments. I mean, let's go into Iden here with Seven Fleet Gunner and Fire Convergence. <laughs> And then, I, I, with Aiden supporting the ships around her, you almost have to just shoot at whatever you can roll the most dice at. Range one, hit crit. Rerolls with fire convergence, make it three. Uh, did not even need the seventh fleet gunner though. Had the stub extra die. Ooh, take, decides to spend the focus and take the crit instead of using the ability. Risky business, council fire. Hmm. That would be really sad to have to waste Iden ability on console fire roll. Okay, mm. I would. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the way, the way it's worded is before you would take the damage, right? Yeah, so you you roll it, you roll council fire and say, "Did I die? No, great, no ability." Or did I die? Yes. Ah, all right, I'll use the ability. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's like the best thing about the ability for her, is that, um, you get to see what the dice are rolled for attack and defense, and like what you can do to mod it, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, no, nah, it didn't work out. Let me just no." <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'll just spend my item instead of my focus token, actually. We'll keep all that. Yeah, it's pretty good. But, I mean, one time use, though. I'm excited for that Iden Interceptor. Get some multiple uses of Cancel a Hit. I think, I think she might be one of the first uh, standardized loadouts that we see people trying to stick into lists i i will say you know we haven't had our podcast on it it's a great great opportunity to talk about it is um the standardized loadouts as more of them come out i am very curious to see 
which ones end up shaking up the the I don't the standard format meta, right? Because for this is a constant question I see like popping up all the time. Like, are standardized loadouts going to be able to be used in the quote unquote regular game? The answer is yes. They said it several times. You can use them in the regular game. Um, and I, and it I could just, be different point costs than their regular pilot. Yes, because it is a different different thing altogether. And they're yeah. doing that with the uh, subtitles. And I'm almost sure uh, when it ends up on the point sheet, it'll have like a different column or something like that that says like standardized load. Like some way to indi indicate that the – besides – the subtitle another way to indicate that it is a standardized, yeah, standard, loadout. St standardized or like um normal loadout mm -hmm. something like that well i mean why why would it need to even differentiate it it could just say uh, just to help out a little bit i, I would like it i would like it to be on there sort by standard maybe as like a as a keyword how we have like bounty hunter and uh, uh a couple other things like that you could put it as a standardized keyword. i think standardized is a keyword isn't it uh, not for pilots, it's not. Well, that's fair. fair point. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're waiting for this action to continue, I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds this weekend are brought to you by our amazing Gold Squadron patrons. If you want to become a part of our largest group of supporters, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Thank you to our quarter two and quarter three patrons. I want to remind you that both of those shipments are coming in together at the same time. And those are being packed and prepared now. So keep your eyes on your mailboxes. You have uh, two quarters worth of goodies coming your way. Right. Uh, out of the ships that we saw uh, spoiled on the Battle of Yavin scenario pack, which one are you most excited for? Hmm. I have to. I I I need to relook at them. I don't have them front of mind. The one that always that's been popping up into my head whenever I think Battle of Yavin is Hull, H O L. Because I was like, that's a name mm, I've never heard wing. before. Literally don't know what it does off the top of my head. But I remember the name because I thought it was interesting. <laughs> um, let me see. Had a bunch of uh, things, whole, including reload. Whole Oakland, during the system phase, if there are no enemy ships at range 1 to 2, you may recover a charge on any upgrade. And he has advanced proton torpedoes and precise astromech, allowing him to get a red lock after you perform an action. Oh, pretty good. He's going to be mean with his advanced proton torpedoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, I'm just going to go over here and reload this torpedo for free. No stress, no nothing. Uh, I think I am most excited for uh, Dex, maybe? And what is he doing? Um, while you defend, if there's at least one other friendly ship at range 0 to 1, you may roll one additional defense die. I am an X-Wing. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I am an X-Wing with a, two hull upgrades. <laughs> Beefy. Chonky chonk. So, that one looks pretty cool. Um, what about you, Will? Did you have one that like caught your eye? Uh, the... Interceptors, uh, maybe? The no, uh, Sigma Seven. Uh, no, uh, the uh, it was actually a uh, Han and uh, right. the Darth Vader. Um, both of them really have big twists on their original pilots, uh, yeah. with uh, new, new and different abilities. Coordinating Han sounds very interesting to me, I like that. And uh, Vader uh, essentially having the different ability. Uh, still needs to take target lock actions, which I like, but, uh, yeah, I think though, I mean, I iconic ships, right? In that battle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the Han, the Han. Um, I don't think he's going to be nearly as good. I hope that he is much cheaper than what he is in his normal, uh, X1 because that is not nearly as good of his ability and loadout. So All right, would you see 
click here, debating changing his locks. Remember, you can take away the range bonus for the ship he's got locked. So normally in this scrum that we're looking at here, that'd be taking away range one bonuses. He's got yep. one on Darth Vader, of course. And ha stop that fourth dice from Vader. And a reminder that Click does have that R3 astromech allowing for two locks out there. So that's why you have one on Vader and one now on Iden Versio. It's like Iden's basically going to be in a re get, reset position for a K-turn the following it's turn. It's going to repair that console fire, I think. Hmm, yeah. Going to have to risk it. Yep. I mean, she's essentially safe no matter what. Like, you, you, you kind of in a catch-22 with that ship because even uh. though it doesn't have any uh, defensive modifiers, you could shoot it and she's just like, no, thank you for wasting your shot. Like, it's... It... it if you're going to be clearing council fires than anybody, I think Aiden is the one you're like, ah, this is okay. Yeah, we still, I mean, there is that proton rocket lined up from, oh no, he shot it last round. That's right. He did. Let me go ahead and take it off of the overlay there. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure why we didn't see that proton bomb go down from click. That would have been a great proton on countdown. He wanted to save his buds. Yeah, might, been okay. be, might have been worried about Warthog. Uh, the bomb is at the end of activation, which Warthog can't save himself from. Only during the engagement phase. I suppose that's true. I don't know if it would have hit him, but I can see the concern. Vader... Going to slap a lock on somebody. Who's the target? There's some yeah, debate like, going like into you stuff. Have heavy laser on Hound, so why not? Yeah, that's going to get around this uh, click. Click punishing Darth Vader uh, for taking range once uh, could really keep the Republic in this game. Yeah, the only bad thing is, is uh, Click wants to spend that lock with his Besh config uh, to get some better offense. Uh, it's going to be hard pressed to do so if he wants to keep that lock around for. I guess if he, if he locks in the engagement phase and then lets Vader shoot, and then he can use it again or use it during during his attack and lock him again next round. <laughs> So I'm seeing a, a hand reaching for some sateen, possibly. Ooh, this could be a good sateen round. So a reminder of what sateen does. At the start of engagement, you may spend two charges. If you do, each friendly ship you choose to gain a deplete token and a focus or a disarm and an evade. So a big HLC coming in. Heavy laser cannon. Target lock is available, or you just Vader it. I guess the target lock is free possibility for change. There it is. Probably a Malice here. Oh, wait, no. no it's it's heavy laser. Yeah, heavy laser. Heavy yeah. laser. Four hits. And three of those are going to be going through. Uh, he jukes it down, so he forces the focus expenditure. Uh, he's not able to use Corky this round anyway because it only works in the front half of the. Um, a ship. Oof. And that's going to be three remaining hull on Hound. All right, here comes Click. Range two is trying to do some work on the Vader. Vader does have that evade token, ready to spend it. Going to spend the lock for some bash action and did not get any natural evades. We'll have to spend and takes the first shield on the Dark Lord of the Sith.
And as a reminder, due to Darth Vader's ability, he's unable to spend the Force defensively. So that's why Vader is going to take a shield there. Next shot's coming in. Here comes three dice and a set of saddies oh. for that Jingoist. Hey, you know what? The, the the red dice have been real good to Travis in the opening. Uh, this set of saddies, I, I think you trade that set for, for most things. All so right. here goes Warthog goes down with a crit, but is able to still shoot. Uh, in this engagement phase. Even though he was initiative killed. Warthog bringing his ability in the clone Z95. Not just the lad anymore. Hit crit spend for hit hit crit. Coming in from countdown. Uh, could see a dedicated here. That would be a great trigger here. Yep. And we're seeing... Play with Warthog, yeah. Why there you not? Go. Warthog's going Why down. Not? Is that... <laughs> Why not indeed? Takes an additional strain. And that is well... a blink to focus. You didn't get the squiggle there. Hit, hit, crit. And, and down it goes Hound. So Travis has taken a commanding lead here, 16 to 3 in our first round of the Malakors Galactic Qualifier. Here goes Warthog with his ability, trying to do something before he leaves the field. Going to go for the range one. Focused shot into the green jingoist. Spend it for three hits. Trying to do something meaningful here. Two squiggles, one damage. Traded there. Are we going to keep it coming onto the same ship? Yeah, it's tough to do one forward, so she should get the extra dice. Yeah, four oh, okay. dice here at the Jinguist would be pretty great. Ida's ability is still available, but it's one of those things where you want to trigger it as soon as you can. <laughs> get some points out here, um, or at least set yourself up to get points in the future by having Iden use the bill of the ability here. I like I'm not I'm not a fan of switching targets here. I would have gone the the range one into the jingoist. Yeah, it's good. either way you force the spinature. Uh-huh. Ooh. But now you're rolling less dice to get the chance. And you don't get it. Um And takes that off the table. 17 to 4. As we head into the fifth round. All right. We're going we're gonna to need to see Click's Proton Bomb. Uh, yeah. Could actually. <laughs> yeah. This is the time. Really. Really hurt these Jingoist. Uh, Iden is heading on the opposite direction, so can't save them from maybe, say, a direct on Green, who could kill him. Yeah. I like it. Could see a 3K here from Stub as well, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you you, you don't you don't want to just pursue Aiden. Yeah, but you have to get away from the bomb drop though too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're gonna <laughs> yeah, be messed you're, up. You're moving first though. Ex that's exactly. That's exactly what I was problem. gonna say, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tight positioning there. Maybe three forward boost towards uh, Aiden. They do have that versatile frame, uh, allowing them to get a white boost. When they 
have a blue revealed maneuver. And then Aiden makes you sad with the one heart to the left. And then you're just, you're like, no, <laughs> my arc. <laughs> no. Let's see what we get here. Two crits and a focus versus a single crit and a focus. Travis going to be first player again in round five. Yeah, let's see that bomb drop. Here we go. Boom, boom. Let me hear you say, hey, oh. No, no, nobody? No, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> uh, boo, boo. <laughs> who, who this man? <laughs> oh, oh. Sub tried to bank and couldn't. Oh. So, uh, Stubb gonna be in the bob. Luckily, has shields, so not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, has an extra shield upgrade in the pocket, which he used earlier. Countdown, getting out. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing about that crit, so I'm gonna get out of here. Yep, my bear roll to make some room. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And the three straight barrel roll to the right. Yes, oh, yeah. does have space. And yeah, a reminder here: you can move on top of those objective tokens. I feel like that's something I, I'm, I am noticing while watching players is there is a a, a like instinctual avoidance of flying on top of <laughs> uh, of the objective okay. tokens. Yeah. Just, I just see it. Get go just go. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's perfectly safe, I promise. Uh probably see um a lock onto countdown and Vader here. And there is a target lock. Click. Dedicated to its role in the squad. Set up target locks and hope. And there's countdowns. And we have one previously on Vader. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, Vader avoids the block. Gonna get that full throttle. And has a juicy range one shot onto Stubb. <laughs> Stubb yes. did a odd maneuver. We'll get the extra attack die, not the extra defense. <laughs> Gonna get, get green if it... Uh... No, just a disabled power regular on that green Jinkoist. Uh, we'll ionize it for the turn. It will. Mm -hmm. So keep it out of the fight for another round, but sadly, there might not be much fight left. That's right. If uh, if if Vader decides <laughs> to say no, <laughs> then uh, then this could be GG right here. Uh, ooh, we do see that click charge activated, preventing the range one bonus. Vader ability likely right here for just straight three hits. Not even going to mess with the lock. Holds on to it for a future turn if he needs it. Two green dice and two hits squeaking Ooh. through. You'll have... Should have uh, dedicated? Uh, I think that would two. be a good dedicated. But misses it there. Yeah, no one's shooting that click. Have the opportunity to take that strain without penalty. Yeah, it's a it's it's difficult to keep up with uh, all of the Republic's triggers here. There are a lot. Yeah, people talk about card bloat and X Wing, uh, and when you're bringing I, three to five I, upgrades yeah. a ship. I think it is especially bad in Republic. There is a ton of um, ton of ships that need a lot of upgrades to do well with the with their loadout. Mm -hmm. All right, one crit, one evade. I know I, I personally there. struggle with anything that's like side arc setup because it yeah. just it doesn't feel like natural to Intuitive. me. 
Yeah, yes, that's the word. It doesn't feel intuitive, but that's the tricky part about it. I understand <laughs> the uh, the fluff. It's like standing by the side of your brothers, right? Like you're, it's, it's you're gonna love backstabber coming out then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is the backstabber in the Battle of Yavin Pack. Yeah. All right, nineteen six. Uh, essentially, this ends up being a lock for Travis as long as he has one ship. Within range two of the center, he's guaranteed the win here. Uh, now, when it comes to Travis and Kevin, why do you play this last round? In a tournament, um, the the one of the tiebreakers is total number of, uh, like, your score overall, the points that you have scored. So uh, rack them up. Rack them up when you can because it could end up mattering when it comes to uh, faction rankings, for instance, which next round we'll talk a little bit about those faction totals, um, and we will reveal to you what is the top faction. Uh, of course, could you figure it out yourself? Yeah, you could. Exclamation point lists if you want. Or you could just wait for me to do it for you, and we'll talk about it next round. All right. Three hits, two focus. Will and James, uh, are, are how are you mentally doing on the uh, focuses, quote unquote, beats hits on player roll? Do you still question it slightly when you roll it, or or are you past it? Are you over it? I'm over it. I think. Yeah. But you will. Yeah. Yeah, it's just automatic. I mean, I play a lot on Tabletop Simulator, and it just has the the round counter. Yeah. Now you, don't even, you don't even have to. You. you don't even have to look at it. You're just like, oh, I guess I'm no, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even normally look at the rolls. Yeah, I just see what the counter says. I look for crits, I guess, but mm -hmm. uh, no, it's become second nature. Cool. Jarring at first, but it's it's proven that it prevents uh, the tied results more mm -hmm. often than not. So. Love it. Now Working I, as intended. <laughs> uh, I got to play against a new player this week at our uh, weekly league night. And uh, that question did come up. I was like, wait, focuses beat hits? I'm like, well, just just in in this. And I, expl I explained the math behind it, right? There's one sure, crit the on the die, two, uh, two focuses. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, once you understand the rarity and not the... Like the value, the value of it, yeah. yeah. Now, by the way, shout out to Bill visiting us at Pastimes Comics and Games. Hopefully, see you around again. I will say, who was, was a was a brave man? Um, I said, well, you know what? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put just pull some upgrades off my off my list. Just make this simple for you. He's like, no. He told me no. Smack me around. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, are you sure? And I was like, this list is pretty aggressive. And he's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, oh, man. I did sandbag, like, a little bit. Like, I didn't go as hard as I could have. But, Were you but, flying the chaff clouds? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was flying oh, the chaff clouds. Oh, my God. <laughs> what kind of person are you? He t <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, I told him. Oh, I, I said, like, I'm hey. going to take stuff out. No, but I I, uh, I definitely was like, I'm going to fly suboptimally here and there. Well, you could, yeah, you could have just held the, long, the chaff clouds. Yeah, yeah. But so. it's okay. You still, I'm sure you still won, though, right? I did. I did still win. Uh, <laughs> not as handily Humble. as I could have, but uh, okay. but I I didn't I didn't quite seal club. I was like mm. I was like get, oh. I was, get me the smaller club is basically what I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, that was a range zero attack from Darth Vader, uh, not killing stub. I did see that bomb go off, and I think it only hit Click. Is that right? It hit himself? Ooh, natties, baby. All right, two evades, two hits. Uh, 
who I didn't came back around with that ion cannon. See if we can always, get half points here on click. Always catched me off guard here. Hit crit. You do get the range bonus. And that is going to be a damage. Half points. Half points, and uh, that's going to bring it to 20 to 6. Didn't even need the satellite. Do it on my own. Hit focus blank here from countdown. Evaded. Easy. Spend one. And Stubbs going to go ahead and avoid that shot. He will not. He rolled too many. Oh, too many dice. No. Does that mean? Oh, yeah. That means Stubb goes down. Didn't have any more health. Click is the lone survivor here at the, uh, the end of this. Our final score of 23 to 7. Thank you to both Travis and Kevin for playing in our first round uh, here in, uh, in our first round of the Galactic Championship Qualifier. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron Patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.